Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Art Whisper 88. Today I will devote my time to making collage material. And um, from the last video I was so impressed by the effect of the metallic paint on the black tissue that I thought I would make a whole series of similar stuff. So anyway, um, I prepared a mixture of white paint and some water, probably like one part water to three parts paint, just enough to make it fluid enough. And I will make some marks here, some random marks, some circles, some scribbles now this is a very um it's a very thin nozzle so it tends to clog so i will have to clear it out So I have some thin trails and some thick ones. So I have here some black tissue paper. This is nothing special. I got this from Amazon. This is uh, gift wrap tissue. And I think it's used a lot during Halloween, especially the black color. So I'll use my color shaper as a as a way to press down now the tricky part is to find where I can hang this but I think the image is very interesting Okay, this time I will use some copper. This time I will use my color shaper.
pretty cool image. Very striking. There's a nice contrast between the black and the metallic. interesting abstract design so I'm going to go ahead and hang this to dry and let all the others dry and then I will continue on to the next segment now I decided to leave this as is and not clean it up and just make another print and this is Naples yellow red. It's kind of like a light peach color. This is pewter, which is a metallic color. And this is Naples yellow green. I think it's an iridescent color. So I will roll that out. making sure that this is nice and even. And I'm trying not to make the uh, colors blend too much. I want them to stay as separate if possible. Again, this is my Soho paper. This is Bristol and it has a very smooth plate finish. So I will leave this on for about three to four minutes and I'll be right back. Four minutes. I think it's a very nice background.
This will make a nice contrast with the black collage that I intend to apply. Okay, now I want to pick up this with some darker colors. This is phthalo blue. It's almost gone. some cobalt blue and this is cadmium blue green Okay, it's been about five minutes. I hope this doesn't tear on me. I think it's a very good transfer. Now, Blicrylic always seems to pick up the ghost very well. I think it's because of the high extender content, but I think this ghost is remarkable, if I may say so. Because this, this effect would be very difficult to make with regular means, like a brush. Now I will show you a more detailed look when this is dry, but I'm very, very happy with this. This is pewter. some green oxide and 
and this is for contrast some vermilion very intense colors. I like that. This is still too good to waste. This is sky blue light. and cadmium blue green and this is turquoise Now the different colors have very different uh, consistency. Some are very thick, like the turquoise. Some are on the watery side. Now since I'm trying to pick up all the leftover paint, 
I will take a chance and leave this for more than five minutes. Hopefully it won't tear. Days before, so I'm not as concerned about tearing. I think this is a great transfer. You could call this grunge with a capital G. I think the length of time left on the plate makes a huge difference. Right. Check this out. I'm very happy with this. So anyway, all of these will get air dried and then I will recap. Maybe move on to the next step, which is uh, collage. Okay, everybody, here we are at the next step where I assemble some of the uh, finished. This has dried very well. This is the uh, tissue paper that I had made earlier. And then here are some scraps from former printing sessions. I always save these because of the uh, pretty colors. And I have pre-mixed some uh, Mod Podge with some water and uh, There is no exact ratio. It's roughly one part water to four parts of glue But this one is a little more watery Because the pieces I'm going to use are a bit bigger and When you have a little watery mix the tissue paper lays down flat very nicely so I will start by cutting these down to size. Start with the small piece. I'm 
nice thing about having a light background is whatever element I put is highlighted because of the contrast. I'm going to make this a little narrower. Another reason I like working with tissue is it's very pliable. It's easy to handle. Uh, a heavier paper would not be as easy to collage um, because there's a problem with curling. But tissue, once it gets wet, it conforms and it's very easy to handle. It's just a bit fragile, but that's to be expected. So once you learn how to handle tissue paper, it's so much easier.
Okay, that's it for the first piece. So this will be a mixed media piece with a combination of collage and hand-drawn elements and with the use of my squirt bottles I created some lines and circles. So I'll air dry this and then continue on to the next piece. Okay everybody, on to the next piece. This is the orange piece and I am going to cut these into donut shapes. This is a recurring motif in my work. Uh, I've been using these circular shapes for a very long time. And you would say that it's kind of a, like a trademark of sorts. Okay, let me switch them around. bottom piece Now one reason why I like using Mod Podge, especially the diluted version, is I can mount this and not be worried that the glue is going to show up. Once it dries, it's invisible, or practically invisible, and I like that. because it's a glue and a sealer at the same time. So it's a multi-purpose.
Yeah, the uh, high water content of the glue forces the tissue to lay flat. And that's why I like it. Okay, so that's it for the second piece, the orange piece. Let me move on to the third one. I like this one a lot.
Okay, that looks about right. We'll move on to the last one. Another thing I notice about this plate finish, Bristol, it's very easy to mount on because it's so smooth and the glue really clings to the surface because it's uh, almost like a, a, a sealed finish. So the glue just glides and floats on the surface and it's very easy to mount. So that's another uh, positive thing. No, this piece is not tissue, this is copy paper. And it's a little more difficult to mount because it uh, takes a while for the glue to get absorbed into the fibers of the paper. You just have to be patient. Okay, let me air dry this and then I'll recap with all four pieces. Okay everybody, here's my favorite part 
of this video. I apologize that it's very long. It's because it's a series of pieces and one connects to the other. Now, um, you can always put the video on pause and come back to it later. But anyway, here is the first piece with the collage and the hand-drawn elements. And here is a close. And that is the effect done by the color shaper or the uh, silicone spatula and combined with the collage. So you have a mixture of textures and movement. So that is piece number one. This is second piece. I think the tissue collage is quite effective because it provides some kind of contrast and some focus, focal point. I always compare it to a movie where you have a leading, either a leading man or a leading lady. Here's the third piece. And I think as a ghost print, it has a very attractive background. And uh, it has a slight iridescence to it because it contains iridescent white. I'm sorry, this is pewter. It's like a gunmetal. That is piece number three, and here's the last piece. And I tend to favor the last piece in many of my sessions. Uh, I guess they, they are the most complex, and I find them to be the most successful. Here, here is close up. Again, there is an iridescence because of the metallic paint. Gives it a lot of depth. And the ghost background is very detailed. This is very intricate.
So there you have it. All four mixed media pieces. Please like, share this with your friends, give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And please pay a visit to artwhisper88.com and all the sales go to help keep this channel going. Thank you again and I hope to see you time.